Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to open all external links in Chrome's incognito mode. Now incognito mode on Chrome for Android is definitely a nice feature. No browsing history is kept and cookies and cache are immediately deleted when you leave a page. But unfortunately, you can only access incognito mode when you're already using Chrome. So when you tap a link in a Google search or your SMS client, for instance, these automatically open in a regular Chrome tab. So developer Olide created an expose module that will allow you to open any link in incognito mode directly. To get this one going, you'll need to be rooted with the expose framework installed, of course. But if you need any help with those requirements, just check out my article at the link in the description below. You'll also need to make sure that you're running the latest version of Chrome or Chrome Beta, which are both available on the Google Play Store. Then to get started, head to the download section of your exposed installer app and search Incognito tab, and that's all one word. From here, just tap the top result, then swipe over to the Versions tab, and hit the Download button next to the most recent entry. Within a few seconds, Android's installer interface should come right up, so tap Install on this screen. When that's finished, you'll get a notification from Expose telling you that the module hasn't been activated yet and that a reboot is needed. Just tap the Activate and Reboot button on this notification and Expose will take care of the rest for you. When you get back up, there's just a tiny bit of setup to do. Start by tapping any link. You can use basically any app to do this, but a Google search would probably be the easiest. At this point, a system menu will pop up asking you to choose a default app for opening links of this type. So select Incognito tab from this list then press Always. From now on, links of this type will automatically open in an incognito tab, so you don't have to worry about your browsing history or data being tracked. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!